Okay, we're all excited about this because we've never done this. We've never had a Valentine's Day show, but it's right around the corner. What do you do for Valentine's Day? You know, Kristen and Kyle and I were talking about this before we started this morning. By the way, hey. a spot of tea. May from I uh, what interest it, you in some port, pomegranate juice? Port wine. A <laughs> <laughs> port wine. A little for the heart. Thank Kristen. you. A little for Doug. Pomegranate juice. There you go. Okay, okay. And a little for mm -hmm. myself. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. Excuse Ooh, me. That is pomegranate yeah. juice. That tastes very good. So there you go. In lieu of a cup of coffee in the morning, get up and make your loved one a pomegranate juice. We're going to talk today about a diet that we all espouse, that we follow, the phase one diet, mm. on occasion because we just came out of the holidays, right? From Halloween to Thanksgiving to Christmas to New Year's, and I may have fallen off the wagon <laughs> a, little a little bit, bit, but here I am back up. And so right around the corner from New Year's comes Valentine's Day. And what do we do? box of chocolate, bottle of wine, et cetera, and we're right back where we started. So John, our producer, and his daughter put together something I think is really brilliant, and that is the gift of health. That's what this signifies right here in front of us. We're each going to pull one of these and read it, and then we're going mm. to teach our audience, you know, it's all about love. It's all about embracing each other. It's all about assisting and valuing each other. So let me, let me see what this says. Promise that you will give up smoking or drinking <laughs> whatever bad habit, uh, start that day. Smoking and drinking. I can see most of the guys, eh, one or the one other. Or okay, the I'm other. not smoking again in my life. Right. Uh, but this is the kind of thing that John and, and Abby and we are talking about. Start slow, right, on Valentine's Day. Make this, you all raised your right hand on the first of the year and said, I'm going to lose 40 pounds by Valentine's Day. Um, start slow. If you do drink excessively or smoke and you want to quit, what a day, what a gift to give your loved one. I'm next. All right, so let's see what we have here. Uh, promise to make phase one dinners from the cookbooks and oh. the website. That's, uh, this is an easy one for you because you you got to memorize it. So I'll, I'll make Brad do <laughs> that's it, right? right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I like that. And she brings yeah. up an important point. It is really about the husbands watching the show right now. Ruth and I always have this little exchange of cards on the pillow and so forth for Valentine's Day. We've had 40 of them together, you know. <laughs> uh, but it, it's about really sharing in that love and just saying, you know what, we've just been through the holidays. Our credit cards are crazy. I love you. Um, now you choose <laughs> okay. one and see where All we right. go. All right, Kristen. All right. Here Take a date to a local cooking class to practice oh, your skills oh. or learn a new technique, then turn them into a phase one meal. Oh. Well, this is perfect for yeah, me. I was going to say, you would teach <laughs> one of those classes, right? Yeah. You know what, Kristen, for the people who are watching this and they're brand new at this, what is this phase one diet and why are you and Brad so in love with it? Well, we got well on it. It's it's the meats, it's vegetables, it's some fruits like berries and lemons and coconut. Pomegranates. Um, pomegranates. <laughs> <laughs> um, nuts and seeds. So it's just a good whole foods diet. And just you're just not taking in all the processed things mm -hmm. and the corn and the things that are high in mycotoxins. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the basis of the diet, yeah. right? Is starving fungi diet with purpose. Yes. You know, which you always say is so important. Why do you follow this diet? We do it to starve fungi. Fungi emit a poison inside the body. And we I think most of us have this problem. So that's what the diet is all about. I like this. All right. I like this. Next one, Doug. Let your Valentine know you hired a trainer to help you <laughs> gain muscle and lose some weight. I'm trying to think I go to Ruth. <laughs> no, no. So Me, Ruth, right, right, Ruth right. is working out, and you're saying you're going to work out with her. With her is yes. a good idea. Yes. With her is a good idea. Hire a trainer. Um, I've never done that. I've always managed to do it on my own. Remember um, when we used to have a guy who worked here who was a personal trainer? Alan and that Devin, you know, those oh, two right. guys yep. were monsters. and They worked out hard, and you're right. Alan did help me with right. some of the exercise. But that's a good idea. If you're working out every day and your spouse isn't, say, you know what? I got you a trainer. Come to the gym with me. See if you don't just absolutely love it. <laughs> or if your spouse is doing the working out, which is often the case <laughs> with men and women, one person will do it, the other person won't. Be the one to say, I'm going to do it for myself mm. yes. and add to it. Mm. Uh, here's a little something. Promise uh, that they will join their Valentine by starting to eat phase one. with the, That sounds like the one that I just had. Yeah, oh, promise to make phase one dinners. Promise mm. they will join them uh, in eating phase one with them every single day. Um, 
in so many people, in all honesty, that I've talked to, uh, most often it's the wife will come to me and say, my husband won't do this. But when the husband does, Michelle Mann, yes. an example, her husband began eating that way with her and wow, everything changed whenever both members of the family get to do it. Now we're going to speed the show up a little bit. It's still cold weather time, if you're watching this in February, uh, and that means smoothie time, but a hot smoothie would be something different. I don't think we've ever done that. So you're oh, going to yeah. do that here It'll in the next fun. segment of the show. As the show continues, we're going to be talking about eating out on the phase one diet. Yes. Nobody does that better. I'll never forget John, my producer, and I went into a burger joint. And he said, what are you going to eat in here? This was a decade ago. And so we'll talk a little bit about that. And then pecan bars, could they possibly be on a phase one diet? Do you remember when you cooked that chocolate chia tapioca? I'll never forget that, and we have some of that today. So stay tuned, a whole lot more to come. And by the way, happy Valentine's Day. In ancient Greek mythology, the pomegranate represents both life and regeneration. Its use in medicine dates back over 3,000 years. Pomegranates are mentioned in Egyptian papyrus scrolls dating back to 1550 BC. Research has substantiated that pomegranate inhibits cancer by making cancer cells stick together and inhibiting their migration. Since my last report, the antioxidant effects of pomegranate have been shown to reduce the pain of rheumatoid arthritis, lower blood pressure, reverse atherosclerosis, inhibit growth of both yeast and helicobacter pylori, induce suicide of breast cancer cells, and reduce the risk of cancer metastasizing. It was also shown to act as a SERM, a selective estrogen receptor modulator, stopping harmful environmental estrogens, stimulating breast estrogen receptors. Most excitingly, whole fruit extracts of pomegranate also inhibited the growth of pancreatic cancer cells. But the researchers noted that the individual phytochemicals in pomegranate were not as effective as the whole fruit itself. This is more evidence that we should get our nutrients from whole foods, not individual components taken away from their synergistic environment. I get organic pomegranates and put the whole fruit, including the peel and seeds, through my juicer because the studies have shown that there is a different therapeutic effect for the peel, seeds and juice. I'm sure that if Dr. Seuss was still alive, he'd be writing Pomegranate seeds are what everybody needs. Plant a new pomegranate, treat it with care, give it clean water and feed it fresh air. I took his advice and have them growing all over my farm. I continue to passionately maintain that there is magic in the humble pomegranate. Did you know cancer cells have about 90 sugar receptors versus four on a normal cell? To avoid cancer, avoid sugar. Cancer cells also disguise themselves with a protein coating 15 times as thick as normal cells. Thus, they avoid detection by the immune cells seeking to kill them, break down that protein coating, expose the cancer, and improve your ability of your immune cells to recognize and kill cancer cells. How? I take the oral systemic enzymes that break down the coating hiding cancer cells. Then I daily take NSC immunization glucan to nutritionally enhance the immune cell's ability to both recognize cancer cells and other pathogens like fungus. One in two of us will have cancer. So act now, take immunization enzymes and NSC 100 extra strength glucan today. Which of my books fits you? When it comes to diabetes, this is a very complex problem, and yet the answer medically is to treat it. Folks, wouldn't it be great if we knew the cause? I think the fungus link to diabetes will be a real eye-opener for many of you. Of course, the diets are there, the prescriptive and the natural antifungals are also taught in the fungus link to diabetes. Okay, now, when I say hot and spicy, what comes to your mind immediately, right? Kyle Drew. Okay, right. But Kyle is going to make cacao 
elixir. <laughs> this is on the internet. You can make this recipe yourself. Husbands, do this for your wife. Watch this. It is the hot, sweet, and spicy cacao elixir for Valentine's Day. It gets the hormones working, gets the circulation going, starting with about three tablespoons of that raw cacao powder. Just throw all of the dry ingredients in the blender first, and that's how I like to do it. Cacao does not have the caffeine that a lot of people think that it okay. does. It has theobromine, which is about 10 times weaker. Cacao, is that is that bean, that's yeah, cocoa that's bean? Yeah, that's the, what we would call the cocoa bean, but cocoa has been uh, processed, it has been heated up, okay. whereas cacao is raw okay. for Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is maca. Powder. Mm, I know Maca mm -hmm. is a uh, is a really interesting powder. A lot of people thought of it as an aphrodisiac early on, but it's because it really revs up all of the hormones, mm -hmm. not just certain ones, but right. the whole hormonal system. So that's why we like to put it in this one. This is going to be a hot elixir. Okay. okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is cinnamon. Yeah, we like to keep the blood sugar even, but we also like to bring the spice, bring the circulation in, mm -hmm. and we add to that a little bit of ginger, about a half a teaspoon, not too much. We know ginger is good for the heart, good for yep. digestion, yep. but also brings some more of the uh, capillary dilation. Kyle, good for the tummy. Uh, good mean, for the know, tummy. I'm gonna people, skip yeah. this because this is gonna be uh, something in okay. the end. This is about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of raw vanilla powder, not vanilla extract, raw vanilla powder. If you have vanilla beans and you can just slice one down the middle and scrape all of that in here, that's even better. But this is about a half a tea. You don't want to go too much on the vanilla bean because it can overpower the whole drink and uh, we don't want that. What we're doing is we're giving a balance. The chocolate and the vanilla and we're bringing all of these other things in. Now this is the coup de gras right here. This is a little bit of cayenne pepper. You don't want much you don't want much. And so I have maybe an eighth or a sixteenth of a teaspoon, not much, just to give it a little bit of zip. Uh, I like to bring in something like a good solid nut, a real creamy nut, something like macadamia nuts. This is a good one. Organic, raw, perfect. Here comes the creamy. Uh, the the uh, cacao only has like 10% cocoa fat left in it, and so we're adding some fat back to it. I have a tablespoon of raw coconut oil and a tablespoon of coconut butter, which is the entire coconut, but it's ground into a, a buttered texture. It's so creamy and so nice. Then, just for a little extra taste, a couple of cracks of Doug's favorite, oh, no, don't tell pink me. Himalaya sea salt. <laughs> that is what that Doug thing, no. loves more than just about Do anything. Do they make blue Himalayan sea salt? The good, th <laughs> the good thing about the salt is that there's a lot of potassium in this, and this balances it out with sodium. It's perfect. It's a nice balance. I put a little stevia in to taste, and now we heat up the almond milk. Let's pour it in about, I'm going to start with about a cup because this can get thin in a hurry. So that's about perfect. I'm gonna see how that works, and then let's give it a crack. Here we go. Hmm, Put okay. the this on. That's different. Give it a shot. Let's do it. I wish you could smell it. It's incredible. I'm, uh, all of those spices are working together, and what you're gonna get, ladies and gentlemen, is something that is sweet, it is hot, it dilates the blood vessels, it gets the circulation going, it enhances hormonal activity, and it has those wonderful PEAs, which is called the love hormone, found in chocolate that gives you that feel-good feeling. You guys, I don't know if it's sweet enough. Thank you. Have some hot and spicy cacao elixir. Okay, now, we'll drink this when we come back from this break, but I want you to know this also. When we come back, we went to Facebook and we said, what? has been the most romantic thing that someone has done for you on Valentine's Day. Don't miss it. Is it good? It's good. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Hi, I'm Susie Cohen, author of The 24-Hour Pharmacist, and I only recommend Dr. O'Hara's probiotics. You see, most probiotic products contain billions of freeze-dried bacteria, but that can aggravate bloating and gas. 
Dr. O'Hara's provides only live beneficial bacteria plus their prebiotic nutrition. It supports noticeable digestive comfort. I believe in Dr. O'Hara's consistent results. It takes guts to feel great. Which of my books fits you? Are you or a loved one suffering with allergies, arthritis, intestinal problems, or depression? In the Fungus Link One book, the diet is there, the antifungals are there, and so is the information on those disorders. Not all natural sweeteners are created equal. In fact, some of them are just as unhealthy as the high fructose corn syrup and refined sugar you're trying to avoid. Take agave, for example. Agave is actually fructose that is processed into a syrup or liquid similar to high fructose corn syrup. And by similar, I mean that it features every bit as much fructose as high fructose corn syrup, if not more so in some instances. In fact, agave is almost entirely fructose. Sure, it's more pure than high fructose corn syrup, but it's still a processed fructose that absolutely impacts blood sugar and insulin levels in dangerous and unhealthy ways. And while palm sugar is natural and unrefined, it has calories like any carbohydrate. So if you're trying to lose weight, I would avoid that too. If you want a sweetener, stevia is hands down the healthiest choice, especially if you have diabetes because it won't spike insulin. In fact, studies show that stevia may actually improve blood sugar control and help lower blood pressure. Stevia is also credited with anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral properties. So when opting for a sweetener, I only use stevia. There are other natural non-caloric sweeteners coming to market soon, so stay tuned. I'm Dr. Fred Pescatore. This is Know the Cause. And welcome back, friends. Thank you so much for joining us. I got to tell you, one time you made tapioca. Oh, no, chia salad. Oh, no, you made a hundred things I loved. <laughs> Danny made a hundred things I loved. You've never made anything I've loved. I know, yeah. Until this. <laughs> Kyle, this. Oh, good. You like it. Hmm? It's really good. It would replace coffee. It's like it hot is. chocolate. You know, the little cayenne in there? I know. It really kind of dilates blood vessels. It really kind of... This is a cocktail I can't believe. What do you call it? A sweet... Spicy and hot cacao elixir, or something like that. So remember that. <laughs> but I myself don't even know what it's called. No, but the recipe is on. Try this one time, I assure you. The nuts are a little chewy in there. Yeah, yeah. But you have to. Grind for the, for the sake of TV, I didn't blend it as long as I normally do, but you blend it up, you make it nice and creamy. It's just, my gosh, it's incredible. You had a chance, Kristen, to read these in advance. Aren't they sweet? So sweet. We, thanks to Evan, my son, we went to Facebook and we asked a question of you a few days ago. Uh, what's the most romantic thing that's ever happened to you by your spouse or loved one on Valentine's Day? Home run, you guys. There were so many responses that were just amazing. We chose three of them. I'm going to do something nice for the three uh, that we chose. But here are uh, three of them. Dee sent this, and I think this is amazing on Valentine's Day. My fiance sent me flowers and balloons and then got down on one knee and proposed. Uh, we had a romantic candlelight dinner and dancing and well, you know the rest. You know where my mind goes? Yeah, they got married. You know? That's right, D. How cool is that? <laughs> uh, Mr. D is a smart man. Yeah, he so is. I really, really like that one. So you do the next one here, All right. Kristen. We eloped to Gatlinburg, Tennessee, got engaged on February 13th and wed in a chapel on the 14th. He glued red hearts on my veil and glued hearts on his red tie. This year is our fifth anniversary, a trip of a lifetime. Isn't that cool? Go. So I mean, sweet. So can you, okay, you're gonna go to Kyle Drew now. Can you imagine <laughs> Kyle with a tie on, you know, <laughs> welding or gluing on these little hearts to a tie? What a romantic I wear my guy. heart on a sleeve. Not okay, on a not on a tie. Okay, yeah. so here's, here's the next one. I loved what Terry All asked. right, I got out of bed. I had a note attached to my blankets. It read, follow the signs. As I followed the signs out of my bedroom, the floor had a path of Hershey's kisses leading all the way down the hall and to the bathroom where on the mirror was a note that said, I love you so much, I kiss the ground you walk on. Very nice, Terry's husband. It melted my heart. Well, it sure the would. Guy, That's guy's, fantastic. That's guy's amazing, huh? Yeah, guy's I need, we amazing. need advice from this guy. 
or Brad. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to this, because you told me, I, I called Kristen the other day, and she told me something really romantic that happened to her, and yet it has a little comedy in it, too. <laughs> well, so we were dating at the time, <laughs> and Brad um, snuck into my apartment at <laughs> night and decorated the whole entire apartment in streamers and balloons and flowers everywhere. <laughs> so when I woke up the next morning and came out, it was all decorated. You slept through and it. And I slept through it. I mean, luckily as a mom, now I'm not such a deep sleeper, <laughs> but that, I mean, I could have been robbed blind. <laughs> Everything could have been taken. That is funny. That, <laughs> and and we all nice. have <laughs> stories like that, folks. Romance is in the air at this time of year. It's just so good. Do something nice, even if it's making some of the foods we'll be going into next. When you and your wife yep. and you and your husband got it, okay, Doug's on to something here with a phase one diet that starves germs. I mean, it makes sense to me. And you went out to eat on Valentine's Day or any time of the year. How did you do it? Because when we go, uh, this is something I would never normally, fruit juice, it's something I would never normally drink, but I thought it was so neat when it was brought in, it tastes so good. So I get into these from time to time. When you go out, how did you do it when you felt bad and then you really felt good on the phase one diet? What do you got to look for? Yeah, it, so in the beginning, I didn't go out to eat all that much because I would have one little thing at a restaurant and it didn't matter how healthy it was, I would react to it. The next morning I wake up and I'd be mm. all swollen. So there's a period of time that I didn't. <laughs> but when I do you know, go out to eat now that I'm healthier and I can handle it, it's the grilled meats and fishes. Um, uh, vegetables, you know, you're usually going to get a little something, you know, that you're not supposed to, yep. but honestly, yep. it's normally okay. It's minimal, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My wife, thankfully, loves steak, <laughs> and so going but, uh, to a steakhouse with broccoli on the side or asparagus yeah. on the side, something like that, it makes phase one easy when we do go out, but we're kind of like you. We've really fallen in love with having these dinners at home, and honestly, when we go out to eat, it's easy to do phase one. It's not always going to be organic. It's not always going to be grass-fed, but big deal. You do what you can, right? Yeah. And, uh, but when we do it at home, it, it, we're just making a nice meal at home, just the two of us, and it's very, very special. Easy to do phase one that way. I'll never forget John, my producer, dear producer of 10 years, told me one time I really miss hamburgers, and I said, you do? And I took them to a hamburger joint, and I took the buns off, and I put two patties there, put some onions, tomatoes on it, lettuce, and said, there's your hamburger. There you go. You can do this, folks, and do it around this time of the year. Be a romanticist, but don't go away. I think for those people who are very active and don't like to take a lot of pills, uh, the Tour Day would be perfect for them. This is a multivitamin formula based on the ideal intake of all these wonderful vitamins and minerals that are going to optimize your health way more than a generic multivitamin will. Take one in the morning, one in the evening, boom, they're done, and it covers you know, a multitude of different uh, things that will help you stay healthy. Order now for the Two Per Day Vitamin, one month supply for $8.25. Which of my books fit you? How many people do we know suffering with kidney diseases, skin problems, postpartum depression? All those topics are covered along with the phase one, phase two diet and natural and prescriptive antifungals in the book, The Fungus Link, volume three. Okay, now one of my favorite times in the show. You can't believe it. I'm sitting here with a beautiful tablecloth and a, a glass of what looks like wine, is actually <laughs> juice. Uh, and people bring out all this amazing food. I've seen this food before, right? This is pecan bars that we want to talk mm. a little bit about. And I'm telling you, folks, as good as that uh, coffee or that cacao <laughs> drink was, elixir, uh, cacao made some cacao, um, and it was an elixir and it was delicious. These are really, really good. Remember uh, when we went to Branson? Yes. And there's a group of guys, and one of the guys that works here, Jordan, made these for us. And we took them, and they're fantastic. And uh, the pecan bars, it's very nice. Just pecans, almonds, flaxseed meal, uh, maybe a little honey so it's more phase two. Mm -hmm. uh, Grass-fed butter, nice. Uh, coconut oil, cinnamon, salt, vanilla, maybe stevia. Uh, this is one of the treats. So, Kristen. I can't oh, and by the way, uh, right here, the darker ones, I don't know if it shows up well on the screen, but there's some darker ones that have cacao 
in them for Kakristen, and the lighter <laughs> did, ones do not. So you did Jajordan Dej Jordan made <laughs> the cacao? <laughs> That's yeah. right. Here the, you go. Okay, so I'll take a light one. Right. And Eddie. I'll take a little of both <laughs> <laughs> eventually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. These are awesome. Oh my These gosh. These are really good. You will go overboard. I'm sorry. <laughs> overboard on these very easily. As they're spraying nuts all over. I know, the I know. Room. But you know what? They're so nutrient dense that you only need a few to satisfy. Oh. And, and <laughs> baloney. <laughs> that is not, don't listen to Kristen. You'll want to. <laughs> We ate, you know, we ate like Jeez, a shopping discipline. cart. Full of <laughs> we ate a lot of these. These are absolutely delicious. By the way, your kids will love them. Your spouse, whom you're trying to surprise in a couple of days. This took Jordan a couple of hours the mm. other evening to put together, and they are delicious. Everyone will love these. But what about this? I'll never forget when you made this yes. the first time. And I thought, okay, chocolate, <laughs> you know, pudding, has a little tapioca flavor. Mm. But I've got to tell you, folks, anyone would love this. I haven't tried this yet, so while you're eating prematurely, mm. I'm going to say <laughs> that the <laughs> recipe, which you can get online, take it from here. Uh, a little coconut milk, some water, a little stevia or honey, mm. some uh, ca uh, some cacao powder. This has cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a little yes. vanilla extract, some chia, some cinnamon. This is uh, your recipe. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. From now I've not tried ago. this, so here we go. Oh, should I go ahead now? <laughs> oh, you already ate prematurely. Oh man, that's great! Our moms made tapioca, but I they never this. made chocolate tapioca. Now this, this is I, you can apparently sweeten this and these with honey or stevia. stevia. Mm -hmm. You did stevia. Mm -hmm. He did stevia. Actually, Joy, John's wife, made this uh, yeah, the other night. Can you imagine how that man eats? Yeah, the way she cooks, the way Kristen mm -hmm. cooks. My goodness! It, it, and John, I mm -hmm. mean, here's a guy mm -hmm. who folks started with me a decade ago and uh, has lost over 100 pounds, goes to the gym three nights a week. I mean, he's totally turned his life around, and that's what today was all about. For many of us, January 1st was the day I'm gonna turn my life around, I'm gonna heed what Kaufman and Kahn's and Drew say, and I'm going to begin eating this way. It takes a couple of weeks of eating this way till you realize, gosh, the tick isn't there anymore, or the blood pressure's down, or the pulse is better. So try it for a couple of weeks and surprise your spouse. You know, they've been with you for many, many years in many, many cases. Do something nice. The gift of health, it beats all other gifts because next Valentine's Day, we'll be sitting here saying this. Shut up. And you'll Just be eat. Smiling. <laughs> mm -hmm. You'll be smiling all the way uh, to another successful year with that spouse. Thank you guys for joining us today. This is so good. Are you, are you trying to feed it? A little it? bit. Little I bit. can get it myself. Thank you. That's good. Cool.